India has launched its first observation mission to the sun right on the heels of the country making history by becoming the first to land near the moon's south pole. 인도가 세계 최초로 달 남극 착륙에 성공해 새 역사를 쓴데 이어 지난 2일에는 처음으로 태양 관측용 인공 위성을 발사했습니다. All right, so let's have a look at this story first of all. Yes. Um, it's been 10 days, or at least uh, when the sun exploration was, yes. you know, was launched, it had been 10 days since it successfully landed the Moon Explorer. That's right. Yeah. So the Moon Explorer was also um, a huge success mm. and it was, um, you know, uh, announced all over the world and yeah. they had, um, you know, a huge media uh, burst um, and it, it was, uh, you know, congratulated. Mm. But actually, um, just a couple of days later, they had this observation mission to the sun exactly. that was launched as well. Exactly. So it was August 23rd mm -hmm. that India successfully landed its uh, lunar explorer near the South Pole of the Moon. Yes. Now, in Korean, it just says, uh, mm -hmm. but to be more precise, it was near the South Pole, yes. not right on the South exactly. Pole. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But even that was the first in exactly. the world. Mm -hmm. so that was August 23rd. Mm -hmm. And then 10 days later, on the 2nd of September, mm. it launched its next explorer. Mm -hmm. And this is to find out about the sun. That's right. Um, it also marks, uh, I guess, uh, humanity's um, advancement mm. because, of course, there's a lot of explorations or, um, you know, uh, we, we still don't know a lot about space. There's so much more to be, um, you know, uh, Learned, known yeah. and learned about space. And this time around, it's about the sun. Mm. There is so much uh, difficulties and challenges mm. to be be overcome because the sun is so it's a boulder of uh, of fire you exactly. know and uh, that's why they have a lot of uh, difficulties to overcome but this time it's actually going towards the sun and they're uh, they'll be coming back with a lot of information yeah and this mission is actually going and i hope that they will get back with a lot of information the observation mission so usually if you actually go somewhere and launch something up until uh, into space mm. it's called a mission because it's actually it has a mission and it's launched up into space observation because it actually reports back into earth mm -hmm. uh, talking about um, bringing back information and uh, it observes and then it reports back right. um, that's why it's called the observation mission 네 표현까지 지금 어, 설명해 주셨고요 관측 미션이라는 게 observation mission이 되겠습니다 어, 만약에 이제 태양 관측용 인공 위성을 성공적으로 이 태양 바로 갈 수는 없고요. Mm -hmm. 거기에서 일정 거리 떨어진 어, 일종의 그 우주 카파크 뭐 yes. 이렇게 주차장 <웃음> 같은 곳에서 예 right. 네, 거기서 멈춰서서 이제 사진도 찍고 관찰도 하게 되는데 이 성공하게 되면은 아시아 최초로 mm -hmm. 이제 그 태양 관측용 인공 위성을 발사한 나라가 됩니다. Mm -hmm. 아, 발사는 이미 했고요. Mm -hmm. 어, 착륙시키는 mm -hmm. 네, 그런 나라가 되겠죠. 성공한다면. 이걸 다 이제 관측 미션이다, observation mission이라고 부를 수 있고요. 이게 불과 열흘 만에 yeah. 이루어진 또 다른 그런 우주 탐사기 때문에 it was on the heels of something. Yes, um, on the heels of something means that it closely followed. So if you're running right behind someone, then you're actually watching someone's heels mm. uh, right after um, if you're, you're running right behind that person. So um, it's an expression to say that you're following closely after someone or closely behind someone. Mm -hmm. 그래요. Heels라는 것 자체가 발 뒤꿈치거든요. 그래서 누구 바로 뒤 따라서 라는 뜻이 있고 mm -hmm. 여기서는 앞서서는 달 탐사선 착륙에 성공을 했고 바로 뒤이어 며칠 지나지 않았는데 이렇게 태양 관측용 인공 위성을 음. 발사했다. Yeah. 자, 다시 한번 아, 제가 읽어 보기 전에요. 예문 주시겠어요? Yes. Um, so my mom's birthday comes on the heels of Mother's Day. 오. Mm. 미국에서는 Mother's Day, Father's Day 따로 있죠. 우리는 yes, 어버이날 right. 하루인데. Mm -hmm. um, Mother's Day 가 있고 나서 mm -hmm. 며칠 지나지 않아서 또 우리 어머니 생신이야. Mm -hmm. 이런 문장이었군요. Yes, exactly. 
Well, here it is one more time. India has launched its first observation mission to the sun, right on the heels of the country, making history by becoming the first to land near the moon's south pole.